All right, now we're up to the dry brushing layer. And for this layer, we're gonna be using two bristle brushes. Uh, I, I find bristle brushes better than synthetic brushes for this, because um, so, they're a good bit rougher, a bit coarser. And um, I like using the square end brushes as well. So um, the, the point of this layer is just to um, smooth out um, the brush strokes from the base coat and just to get the tone right of the body uh, of the whole thing really um, so yeah let's get into it All right, now we're going to start working on the details layer. <clears throat> now, what I like to do when I'm doing a bird is just to work on all the little fine feathers um, for the painting on the bird. So um, the trick with this is just to use tiny little brush strokes. Um, now, you do want to have a bit of water to mix in with the paint. Um, so I just have a bit of water here on the side. and. The other thing is that because um, I am using some water, um, the paint will become a little bit more transparent, uh, or a little bit transparent, which is going to make it um, not as strong. So obviously if you put pure water on the picture, it's not going to show up at all. Um, and if you use no water, it's going to be solid paint. So you can imagine there's kind of a layer, there's a, there's a level of transparency to the paint as well. So what I do is just mix a bit of water, and the reason for that is that it helps it just tie into the picture, but it also means that um, you get a nice sharp line. There we go, so that's the uh, end of the um, How to Paint a Fanto demonstration. Thanks for watching.